Today, I'm Be Something Wonderful. Surprised and delighted, I'll never doubt that I am ever again. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. Big video this morning, but it was not planned that way. I got up early this morning because I had a session early, but also because I, I had some email coaching that I wanted to answer the, those emails. So I thought, okay, I'll do that and I'll have the session and, 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 and plan for a video tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Well, this session was so big and even she wanted me to share it. And so I just couldn't wait. <laughs> I, I wanted to share it. I, so obviously this video is coming out later this morning, later than it normally does, right? Normally I have a video out by now, but I really wanted to prepare it. There was a lot to talk about, a lot in this video. But this is a client that I've been talking to. It is about a specific person, an SP. But, it, but guys, you know it's, it's about anything you want. This lesson really is about conviction. It's about standing in that conviction. It's, it's that idea of faith and preparing to receive what you want. Persisting but not efforting, right? And, and we even touched on the bridge of incidents and birds before land. All of this, right, comes out in this lesson. So what went on? Well, well she specifically was preoccupied, right, before she moved to her conviction, before she really decided to just sit in that conviction no matter what right? No matter what the circumstances were showing her, no matter what the conditions, even if she thinks that the moment has passed, that the linear time for the possibility has passed, she, we talked about standing in that conviction no matter what. That's her new identity. That's her new reality. And this was regarding a specific person in her birthday, which was coming and it was coming and still nothing and nothing, right? And, and so finally, uh, so she, had, she was really excited. So, so we had this session and she said, you know, Tom, I am, I'm just shocked. <laughs> I am shocked, but I'm delighted. And, and, and here's what happened. So, so she, would been, she had been really preoccupied with wanting to have, you know, because remember the importance we put on this stuff, right? Wanting to spend her birthday with him. Well, she decides, she plans a week, she hadn't heard from him. She plans a birthday weekend with her girlfriends. And her birthday's on a Monday. So she, she went away for the weekend and then was coming back through the airport, either out of the airport or in the airport. I'm not sure where she was exactly. And she runs into her SP on her birthday. Here are the synchronicities. This is, this is a really amazing. We're going to really unpack this. This is why she was so shocked. And he's, he's also coming back, but not from a, a birthday weekend that she's learning. It was actually from a, a, a close friend of his that passed away from his hometown. And and so he was coming back from that. And so they're talking and he says, you know, this is probably not a good time, but I, I was, and you, I'm, I'm sure you have plans. He goes, but I was wondering if you wanted to get together tonight, because sure it would be nice. And she, and she blurts out, no way. <laughs> and, and, and he go, and he's paused and then he goes, yes way. And, uh, and this is something that they had shared together in their relationship. She'd always say no way. And he would say yes way. So this was cool. And they did get together. So, and we'll have to find out, you know, where it's going to go from here. I don't have those details yet, but this was amazing. So I want to share some of the things that we talked about this morning but also in other, other sessions and really what the magic here is, because this really is powerful. She goes, I was so shocked in the best way and I'll never doubt it again. In other words, she'll never doubt when she declares I am and stays in that conviction. And, and what was the key here? She stayed in her conviction and assumption no matter what, right? Even as the birthday passed, in her mind it passed, right? It was Monday, it was her birthday, but in her mind, it passed, right? And even as 3D events seem to be the polar opposite. Do you see it? Even as those 3D events seem to be the polar opposite. The, the other, the, she, was, she had something on where she on social media. It, she saw some other third party or what looked like a third party. That other was not actually a third party in that way. It was a friend of his, but it was a mutual friend from his friend that made his transition, that passed from this physical existence, right? So, so no way, yes way. This is a powerful lesson. I want to hit each of these things in persisting, in preparation, in faith, 
in preparing your place, the bridge of incidents and birds before land. A little late today, but let's see if we can get to it. So, so when we were talking in, in several of the sessions before, obviously, this one this morning, she goes, I've been affirming and persisting and imagining for months. This is before, right? I, I start to see some signs and movement and then nothing. Like all of us, right, looking out there. One, one moment I'm thinking it's done and feeling the wish fulfilled. And the next I'm doubting it and feeling anxiety. Again, allowing her thoughts and feelings about reality, confusing that with reality, right? Confusing that being in her conviction, right? Looking at conditions. How do I stay in the conviction of fulfillment, of wish fulfilled? This is always your question, right? In other words, how do I see something I don't see? and feel something I don't feel. That's what she was really saying. I've hit this in a few videos now, right? This is always the question. How do I have the faith and conviction as a mustard seed? Well, we're going to unpack this today and more. So remember, when you doubt yourself, you are doubting God, right? That I am is the name of God forever and ever the name given to Moses. You're doubting God. God says, I am that I am. You're saying, I am not that. Or I am something else that implies you are not that. Do you see it? You, you, when you doubt yourself, you're implying that all that is, right, the creator, source, is not. And that's impossible. Notness is impossible. No source is, impo is impossible. Non-fulfillment is impossible. There's only I am, absolute conviction, absolute unity, absolute fulfillment. And when you move to that, 3D reality must rearrange itself. The bridge of incidents gets, gets drawn up. The invisible bridge gets created. Then you get moved across it. I'm having trouble getting the words out this morning. Right? Persisting in your wish fulfilled is never about trying and efforting to see something you don't see or feel something you don't feel. It's never about that. You're not trying to feel something you don't feel or see something you don't see. That's vain repetitions that Jesus talks about, right? It's not about that, right? It's a, what is it about? It's about choosing to be who you desire to be and to have what you want to have and resting there. It's preparation to receive. It's about assuming and choosing, law of assumption, to be it, saying, I am that. It's a decision from within, that conviction within, that I am that. Right, that conviction. You go to the end and you stay there no matter what you're seeing and feeling. Your thinking and feeling is the messy middle. Those can inner conditions and even those outer conditions. Now, I've touched on this before, but I'm going to really go at it, hopefully, in a couple more layers today. Like, let's see what we can do. So, your assumption, remember, I really want to hit this. Your assumption is the creative act. It's created when you say, I am that. When you declare that from within from a place of truth within, right? Persisting, affirming and imagining your wish fulfilled is not about making something happen. It's already happened. It's not about creating it. It's already created. Do you see it? It's not about that. What is it then? What is persisting? What is imagining and affirming? It's about resting in the conviction and gratitude of already being it experiencing that gratitude within, experiencing that conviction within. That's what the scripture means by magnifying the Lord, right? The Old Testament, remember, Lord in capital letters means law, law of being, law of being conscious of who you want to be, right? Let us exalt his name together. Then what's the name? I am the Lord. I am. I am that. Glorify it. Rejoice in it. Praise it. In other words, affirm it. Imagine it. Do you see? That's what that's about. So, it's done and created in the assumption of it. That's why Neville Goddard says, to desire a state is to have it. In other words, to desire it is to assume it. To assume it is to create it. To create it is to be it and have it. Hear it again. So, to desire it is to assume it. To assume it is to create it. To create it is to be it and have it. Your desire is an announcement of your new reality a decision and choice to be it and have it. That is powerful. I am that, right? Persisting, affirming, and imagining is simply preparation to receive, to see and perceive what's already yours. Hear it again. Persisting and affirming, imagining, is simply preparation to receive, to perceive and, and see and perceive what's already yours.
It's preparation. That's what, that's what Neville Goddard means by faith. Faith is preparation. Faith is feeling. It's that conviction within. You are preparing your place, as Scripture says. Right? As Jesus said, in my Father's house are many mansions. Right? If, I, if, if it weren't so, I, wouldn't, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place. You're preparing your place. In my Father's house are many mansions, dwelling places. I go to prepare a place. John 14, 2. You're preparing your place. Faith is preparation. It's that conviction that it's already done. Wow. If you have faith as a mustard seed, that's the conviction. If you have conviction of a mustard seed, what does that mean? It means faith is preparation to accept and receive what's already yours. It's already yours. But you've got to prepare to, to, to receive it. You've got to rest in that conviction, right? It's not required to create it or make something happen or earn it or give rise to it, your wishes and desires. None of that. That, that's not what we're talking about, right? That preparation, that faith is not required to create it. It's already created. It's not required to make it happen. It already happened. It's not required to earn it. You've already earned it by your right of being, by your, by your birthright, by your divine right. And it gives, it's not to make, give rise to your wishes and desires. They're already yours. To desire a state is to have it, right? It's done. It's yours, right? Assume it. Announce it. Affirm it. Imagine it. I am that. Thus says the Lord, or the law, make this valley full of trenches. 2 Kings 3.16. In other words, remember that story, and, and, and that's in several videos now, where the three kings were going through the desert, and their armies were dying of thirst, and they prayed to, for, for water, and Elijah the prophet that gives them the message from the Lord that says, dig the trenches, dig trenches. Remember, they're dying of thirst. They're going through the desert. They got all their army dying of thirst. There's no water, right? And then what does Elijah tell them? The prophet, remember, Elijah represents your I am. What is I am telling you? Prepare, prepare, have faith, prepare, Full, dig the, the trenches. Rain is coming, water is coming, right? Prepare your place, as in scripture. I go and prepare a place for you. Wow, hear that. You shall not see wind, you shall not see rain, yet the valley should be filled with water. In other words, water represents that spiritual substance. It represents fulfillment. You're not going to see it, but you're, you're going to be fulfilled. Do you hear it? If we have to look out there for fulfillment, then we're never going to be fulfilled. It comes from within, that spiritual substance within. You're not going to see rain, you're not going to see signs. Right? Signs, <laughs> signs don't proceed, they follow. Right? As Neville Goddard says, signs follow, they don't proceed. So it's not looking for the wind and rain. The water's going to be there, but if you don't, the rain's coming anyway. The water's going to be there anyway. But if you don't dig a ditch, if you don't prepare in faith, if you don't stand in the conviction, you can't receive it. Right? <laughs> Do you hear it? It's yours. So you don't have to dig the, dench, the, the trench, the dench, the trench. <laughs> To, it's not you that water's yours anyway that desire is yours everything's yours anyway fulfillment's yours but you've got to prepare for it by standing in that conviction by affirming it imagining it knowing it right preparing your place it's yours wow how powerful signs and movement are not evidence that it's coming right this idea of looking for signs this is why that's so important here that what elijah says you'll not see wind or rain or wind, nor shall you see rain, yet the valley will be filled with water. You're not going to see signs. It's just going to be filled. It's going to be fulfilled. Signs and movement are not evidence that it's coming. That just keeps you in the future. Rather, what is, what is all those things that you believe is movement and signs if you see them? It's evidence of conviction that you're in that new reality, that you are that version of yourself, right? It's not coming. It's here. You're there. That's why birds, that's what birds before land really means. Remember the idea of birds, that, that it's a nautical term, where if you saw birds, there must be land nearby. Land meaning, land in metaphysical terms, meaning the manifestation of what you want, your wish fulfilled. But remember, that, that's not a sign that it's coming, it's a sign that it's already there, that you're in your conviction, that it's yours, it's done. Faith is the preparation, right? Dig the ditch to receive, see, and perceive it, regardless of your temporary thoughts and feelings. In other words, that inner evidence of fulfillment. You don't need the inner evidence of fulfillment. I Meaning you don't need that. The, the temporary thoughts and feelings of, of 3D emotions are okay. But, but whether they're there or not doesn't affect your conviction, doesn't affect your assumption, doesn't affect fulfillment. Do you hear this? Doesn't matter what you think or feel temporarily in 3D terms. 
It matters where your assumption is. It matters where your inner conviction is, right? That conviction cannot be shaken, right? That inner conviction. Prepare your place. Dig the ditch. All conditions and events are seen as a bridge of incidents and a path of least resistance leading you to that outer manifestation reality. That's what that means. That's what scripture means when it says prepare your place. Dig the ditch. Have faith. Faith is preparation, right? That conviction. That you're seeing all conditions and events, no matter what, as that invisible bridge of incidents that Neville Goddard talks about and the path of least resistance leading to the unfolding or the outer manifestation in 3D reality. So powerful today. So trying, so stop trying to micromanage God, right? You're trying to micromanage. Your job is to prepare your place. Your job is to have faith, right? In other words, faith is preparation to dig your ditch, right? To prepare within, to stand in that conviction, not to look at signs and get your faith from outside, looking at signs and, and getting your faith from whatever your temporary thoughts and feelings are. Get your faith for where it is in that conviction. Faith and conviction that it's done in yours. God does not rest, right? So trying to micromanage God, your job is to prepare the place. God does all the rest. Right? God will do the rest. You, you do your job, God will do everything else. Prepare your place, that faith and conviction. God will, then God will bring it to you, right? And here's what goes on in John 14, 2, 3. In my Father's house are many mansions. In my Father's house, in that great I am, are many dwelling places, many states of being, many states of consciousness. If it were not so, I would have told you. I would have told you. <laughs> this is what Jesus says, right? In other words, if it were not so, if I am not, where reality, he would have told you, but it's only I am. It's not I am not. It's absolute conviction. Do you hear it? My father has many marriages. If it were not so, I would have told you that I am not is possible. But it's only I am. To go to prepare a place for you. I am that. Right? That's, I go to prepare a place for you. That's you. Remember, it's you and you. You're, you play all the, all the parts. Right? I go to prepare a place. That's, that's you within going to prepare that place, standing in that conviction. I am that. That's the preparation. You're digging the ditch. And then if I go to prepare, if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Your assumption and condition of wish fulfilled creates its own reality. Do you see it? That conviction creates that invisible thread that can't be broken, that invisible connection between you and your, in, that, in the fulfillment of your desire, between your desire and its fulfillment, right? You create that invisible bridge of incidents right here. That's what Neville got it meant by the bridge. The bridge is being created as you go within, as you stand in that conviction, as you imagine, as you affirm it, as you dig your ditch, as you stand in that faith. Then that, that higher you, that God, that higher power within you comes again and moves you through, through, over the bridge of incidents to everything you want. So let's really talk about that. When you imagine, assume, and affirm your wish fulfilled, you prepare the unseen place in consciousness that moves you across an invisible bridge of incidents to the physical manifested fulfillment of all you desire. In other words, I will come again and receive you to myself. I'm going to build that bridge of incidents and then you're going to, I'm going to move you. That higher power is going to move you across that invisible bridge to these physical incidences that lead to your fulfillment. Do you see it? The bridge is invisible, but the incidents are, phys are physical. So you're moving over the bridge. That higher power is moving you. I will come again and receive you to myself. In other words, I will build that bridge of incidents, move you across it. You will be moved by me, that I am, by that higher power, that I am within you to everything you want. I move across, this is what Neville Goddard says, I move across a bridge of incidents, a series of events, Right? that compels me to move towards the fulfillment of that invisible state. So this is, what, this is what Neville said. So this is what I mean by faith. Faith is loyalty to the unseen reality. Faith is preparation to receive that unseen reality. <laughs> Do you see it? That, that where I am, there you may be also. Where I am, you must be. Surprised and delighted. That's what we're talking about, guys. You're building that invisible bridge. That's why... She was shocked and delighted, right? She stood in that conviction. She 
prepared, she dug the ditch, no matter what 3D circumstances were showing her, no matter what, how, no matter that she didn't get contacted, no matter that she didn't get text messages, it didn't matter that she did see uh, 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 on social media um, some other potential third party. She stood in that anyway. She built the invisible bridge through that I am, I am that. Right? And then she walked across it. There were physical incidences. The airport, do you see it? The, them getting, her coming back, her planning that event with her girlfriends anyway, and not waiting, and then coming back and, and running into him in the airport. All of that, those serious, it compelled her to move to fulfillment of that invisible state. And that's what Neville meant by faith, right? Faith is preparation for that unseen reality. Faith is loyalty to that unseen reality. Where I am, there you may be also. Shocked and delighted, I'll never doubt that I am ever again. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. We have a Facebook group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors, at facebook.com slash groups slash be something wonderful. Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. Uh, we have a, our membership channel, which we're going to do a live stream later this month. I've already announced that on the chat on, on the, in the community section. And there'll be other reminders. That's May 21st on Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific Coast Standard Time, right here from our studios in Las Vegas. So be sure to send your questions. This is a, for the membership channel. So if you're a member, join us. If you're not a member, join us, right? I hope you do. And um, the link is below if you want to join the membership channel. And um, guys, just with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, this is Tom Karen with Be Something Wonderful. Until next time, we'll see you soon.